Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and this is the part 2 of Los Altos Hills, California History The area was originally called Banks and Brace Old shop an executive of Southern Pacific Railroad and his colleagues formed the Altos Land Company in 1906 and started the development of Los Altos. The company acquired 140 acres, 57 hectares of land from Sarah Winchester. Chop wanted to link Palo Alto and Los Gatos by making Los Altos a commuter town. It continued a train a day operation to and from San Francisco. In 1908, Southern Pacific Railroad began running steam train service through Los Altos, April 19, 1908, with five trains per day. Two freight cars serve as a train depot. Also, the first commercial building, Brochures Hardware, was built in downtown. In 1913, the Craftsman style Los Altos train station was built at 288 1st Street. By 1949, many residents were dissatisfied with the zoning policy of Santa Clara County, and there was a constant threat of annexation by neighboring Palo Alto and Mountain View. So they decided to incorporate. Los Altos became the 11th city in Santa Clara County on December 1, 1952. Train service ceased operation in January 1964 and the train truck became Foothill Expressway. Los Altos may have a legitimate claim to having the first scientifically designed sound baffle in 1970. Santa Clara County undertook a seminal study to calculate the effects of alternate sound wall designs along Foothills Expressway. The resulting wall brought about the projected reduction of 7 to 10 decibels in noise pollution levels experienced by adjacent homes. In 1976, Apple co-founders Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak built the first 50 Apple i computers in Jobs' garage in Los Altos. In 2004, landlord Judy Fosco rented her Los Altos home, later known as Casa Facebook, to Mark Zuckerberg. There he and a few other associates scaled Facebook from 200,000 members to 2.5 million. On April 15, 2021, Los Altos became home to the world's first consumer flying car showroom. Earthquake Los Altos is near the San Andreas Fault and therefore subject to earthquakes. 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Although Los Altos was hit extremely hard, the main local effort was to help rebuild nearby Santa Cruz which was nearly destroyed. In 1989, October 17, Los Altos experienced the Loma Prieta earthquake but was spared major damage. Los Altos and its churches combined efforts to clean up on hard-hit areas such as Watsonville and Santa Cruz.
super duper shout out sa mga nanood. Maraming salamat po.